Welcome to Being Humankind, with your hosts Brian, Mike, and Neely. We explore what it means to be human in a time of disconnection. When was a time that you felt judged? Like my entire life. I always feel judged. <clears throat> hmm. I am I felt judged. Well, when I was a kid, I was pretty heavy. I felt judged. Like back then, there was no like body positivity. You were either normal or fat. So like I, w- I wasn't like incredibly fat, but I was fat enough. I drank a lot of soda. You know, I didn't even eat a lot. The cruel part is I didn't realize how bad soda was for you. You know, I was just a latchkey kid. I'd come home and watch, you know, the Fonz and Ligon's Island and drink soda. And I thought I was just a normal kid. I was a lonely kid. I didn't really have a lot of uh, friends for a while because I was ping pong from my grandparents to my mom's apartment, you know, whatever. And uh, I was like husky. I used to wear the husky pants at Sears. And it's Back then, uh, if you were, you know, five pounds overweight, you know, you just got tormented and tore apart, you know. Uh, so I'll never forget that. I definitely felt judged for being fat when I was a kid. Do you think that that uh, carries over at all now in any way? Oh, my God, yeah. Absolutely. I always feel like I'm too fat. I always feel like... Uh, yeah, whatever. I feel like, the, like everything about me is wrong. I feel like um, the clothes I wear are wrong, the things I say are wrong. Um, when I get mad, I feel like maybe I'm out of line for getting angry. Whatever, you know. Everything. I have, I have, I have self-esteem issues. Let's just put it that way. And it started, started kind of maybe there. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I didn't really have a close relationship with my mother. And there was a lot of toxic people in my life, you know, her boyfriends, uh, crazy uncle who was a uh, quasi racist, alcoholic, uh, bigger dude, you know, just people always judging you and tearing you down. You know, my mother tore me down, you know, never really good enough in her eyes, you know, that kind of stuff. That's part of the journey. But like, I don't look back on it like, oh, I feel really bad for myself. I look back on all those things, all those kids torturing me, you know, but, you know, they really weren't torturing me. They're just being kids, but, you know, and all those people that, you know, my mom had in her life and all those toxic relatives and stuff, they were just being people too. And that was part of my journey to overcome that so that I could become a stronger person and I can be up to things and try to instill their values in my kids so that they don't have to feel bad about themselves you know what I mean mm-hmm. so I don't I, I don't regret those things I don't, I don't regret all the horrible things I went through or somewhat horrible things whatever it built, it built character it made me stronger so with all that said has that have you caught yourself judging others the way that you were judged? Hmm. I mean, I definitely judge people for different reasons. So, um, like, I don't, we're all human, so we notice if somebody, you know, is heavy or this or that, but I don't allow myself to somebody oh you, you know, you're, you're fat or you know you're ugly or you're this or that like to me those are um number one the things that you can't help you can't well maybe you can you maybe sometimes you can sometimes you can't i got big ears i can't help that you know what i mean i wouldn't pick on somebody for having big ears i wouldn't pick on somebody for being short you know i don't like making like even if it's in good like in malls you know and having fun with the buddies i don't like to do that with stuff that people can't help if somebody's, you know, too drunk or, you know, they're, they have personality flaws, I don't mind giving them a hard time about that because they, things you know better. 
to do. You know what I mean? Like if you go into a place and you're talking over everybody and being obnoxious and stuff, I don't want to keep giving people a hard time over that. Or if the type of person that only thinks about yourself, I don't mind giving you a hard time about that. Or whatever. And I don't mind people giving me a hard time about that. Like, you know what I mean? If, if I'm late a lot and people give me a hard time about that, you know, a lot of times I am late. Well, you know, I've had it. But I don't, I don't judge people for their physical appearance. You know, again, we're all human beings, so you know things. You know what I mean? Uh, somebody's got uh, a big nose or big ears or this or that. You know, you, you see it, but you never put somebody down or, you know, embarrass them over those kind of things. I just think that's a shitty thing to do to another human being. But even if it isn't good fun. To me, to me, those things aren't really fun. I am, to answer your question, I am judgmental about people who are materialistic, who um, don't listen. I have, I have, I, it's like, this is a great conversation. It's not necessarily realistic. In other words, you're asking me a question and I'm answering it and you're affording me time to respond in a thoughtful way. In, in the real world, in real time, you know, you might ask me a question like, oh, what do you think about spaghetti? And I'll be like, well, spaghetti noodles are, really, oh, that's ridiculous. Nobody likes spaghetti noodles. You're stupid. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I judge people for that kind of things. Like, if you don't have the presence of mind, no matter whether you're a very bright person or a very dull person, if you don't have the presence of mind to allow a person to answer your question and speak to you thoughtfully, and yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to judge you, right, wrong or different, but that's just how I am. Uh, if you don't treat your children correctly, you know, if you don't honor your responsibilities, if you aren't truthful, you know, if you are uh, boastful, judge all those things. Those things to me, to me are unacceptable. That's my personal value judgment, and that's where that's where I sit. You know. I I was just, interestingly enough, I was just talking to somebody about that today. Do you think that's judging or do you think that's somebody not falling in line with your values? Like you were talking about earlier when we were asking the question about like, you know, how, how you, how your values of people have changed over the past year, because who really does want to be around somebody who is boastful and materialistic? And I mean, is that really judging? That's a good question. Um, I'd say probably, you know, in my life, my philosophical approach to life is very few binary answers. So probably a little of both. You know, so if someone's behavior is so obnoxious and so egregious, it's probably not in your best interest to be around that person, you know, because they're probably going to uh, make you feel bad about yourself, or make, you, or make you feel bad about them. Um, at the same time, maybe we all are called upon to a certain extent to rise above sometimes to um, try to mentor that type of person or to be a good example. You, you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't think it's a simple answer. We, right. we, we always look for simple answers. Like, you know, oh, he's a jerk. Oh, I'm just cutting him out of my life. You know, um, and then some people are like, well, we're just going to do everything we can to try to mentor him and make that person, you know, uh, learn the virtues of being, you know, different. And I don't think either one of those is necessarily uh, realistic. I don't think you, you know, one, I always go back, I guess it's a Freudian thing. I always go back to my mother. <laughs> so follow, if you have to follow my logic here, my mother was uh, a very typical single mother where she always tried to find a bad guy. Bad guys are more exciting. You know, they ride motorcycles and they drink whiskey and they, you know, they know how to handle a woman. They're a womanizer or they play pool or this or that, you know? Well, I can make him into a good guy. So I'm going to get with him and he's going to learn how to be a good father and he's going to want to get married and this and that. And it's not realistic. You can't change people. So if you know somebody who is... Um, seated or dishonest or disrespectful, it's very unlikely you're going to change their value system and make them adopt your philosophical 
an ideological uh, viewpoint. But at the same time, if you think that you can cut all those people out of your life, you're probably going to be very lonely because I think all of us, including myself, we have those traits, you know, and sometimes when I'm around certain peers, I might demonstrate that. When I'm around other peers, I won't demonstrate that. So I guess it's, it's kind of like a balance, I think. You know, I think it's important to not let people suck you into their own black hole. You know, like, oh, I can fix them. I can fix them. Oh, I'm going to mentor him. I'm going to make him better. You know, you're not. Just, you know, big hands. Oh, how you doing, Fred? Oh, I'm doing great. See my new car? Oh, look at the rims. They're so great. Oh, whatever, or, you know, the, the guy pinches your wife's ass or something like that. I mean, you're probably going to punch him in the face, but, you know, those kind of guys, you keep him at arm's distance, so he's not close enough to pinch your wife's ass or something like that. You know what I mean? No, but, sure. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I get what you're saying. You know what you mean. It's, it's like, like you said before, keeping those people on the periphery, not cutting them out. Yeah, exactly. I think a lot of people they come to the places they're at in life for a lot of reasons. Like, for instance, again, going back to my mother, I haven't talked to my mother in over 10 years because of, even though she's not an alcoholic anymore, it's, she still has all those dependencies uh, just manifest in different ways. And for me to be around her is very toxic for me. It's not good for me. I'm reduced to back to where I was as a kid. Um, all the hurt and pain and abandonment I felt, it all comes back to me. And even though I can't be around her and or put up with her in any form, shape or manner, I do realize that she went through a lot of abuse too. She, her mother was an extremely, even worse alcoholic. And um, she had all sorts of boyfriend. And just a, a very, it's a terrible, Style. So I, I understand my mother came to be the type of person she is because of the abuse that she went through. It doesn't mean I forgive her, but I accept it and um, I don't I don't hate her. I don't wish her I don't wish anything bad to happen.